The following is a presentation of Calm World Media, the future of talk. Hi, this is Phil Valentine. Over the past few years, one of the basic responsibilities of a nation to protect its borders has been turned into a racial issue. As millions of illegal aliens stream across our borders, we're being told that opposing it makes you a racist. Is border security really racist? In a moment, I'm calling bovine scatology on that. I'm calling bovine scatology with Phil Valentine. By now, you've heard the claim from Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez that illegal aliens captured at the border were being made to drink out of toilets. And these women were being told by CBP officers to drink out of the toilet. They were drinking water out of the toilet. And that was them knowing what a congressional visit was coming. That was, this is CBP on their best behavior, telling people to drink out of the toilet. As it turns out, it was a lie. This facility, like many others, has a prison-style toilet where drinking water is dispensed from the top in a fountain and that water filters down to the toilet at the bottom. As a matter of fact, the drinking water at the top that is not actually consumed is then used to fill the bowl of the toilet and therefore recycles the water. And environmentalists like Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez should love this kind of contraption. Instead, she tried to turn it into a racist moment. Is it not just about the immigrant communities being held in concentration camps. Oh, 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 wait, 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 just a second. Did she, did she just say that illegal aliens are being held in concentration camps? You know, I don't use those words lightly. I don't use those words to just throw bombs. Um, I use that word because that is what an administration that creates concentration camps is. Um, a presidency that creates concentration camps it's fascist. Representative Ilhan Omar and fellow squad member was also speaking from the same talking points. It's almost as if it was planned. Yeah. We have said this president is racist. We have condemned Thank you for his racist you. remarks. I believe he is fascist. Okay, we went over all of this in the socialism is better than capitalism episode, if you want to listen to that. This is what they do. People like AOC call people fascists, which of course leads to Nazis, which of course leads to white supremacists and Jew killers and scourge of the earth and the rest of that. But border security is not about race. It's about security. First of all, proponents of illegal immigration love to say that illegal immigrants don't commit any more crimes than American citizens. It's not true, but it's not even the point. The point is, whatever crimes are being committed by illegal aliens would not be committed in this country if we had border security. In other words, the thousands of Americans who have died at the hands of illegal aliens would most likely still be alive. I see people going back and forth in articles and social media arguing over the numbers. One number says about 300,000 illegal aliens incarcerated per year. Another one says, no, 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 no. It's more like 156,000 illegal aliens incarcerated in a year. Folks, we're talking about tens of thousands, perhaps hundreds of thousands of crimes that are committed by illegal aliens in any given year. It's ridiculous to quibble over numbers. George W. Bush used to say they're doing the jobs Americans just won't do. Well, I guess they're committing the crimes that Americans just wouldn't commit. How many thousands of Americans would still be alive today if it were not for our porous border. But now trying to do something about that porous border is somehow racist. Remember this one? President Trump is putting all these poor people in cages? At least I'm not trying to cage children in the border and inject them with drugs. That's not a mistake. That is a deliberate policy to attack people based on their national origin. That's not a mistake. That's just hatred. That's just cruelty. That's just wrong. Yeah, it was wrong. Oh, not the policy, the portrayal of the policy. It wasn't President Trump who built the cages. It was President Obama. His Homeland Security Secretary, Jay Johnson, admitted to it when he was asked about it at the Aspen Ideas Festival. Chain link, barriers, partitions, fences, cages, whatever you want to call them, were not invented on January 20, 2017, okay? When you have 
um, you know, something that is a multiple, like four times of what you're accustomed to in the existing infrastructure, you've got to you've got to find places quickly to put kids. You can't just dump seven-year-old kids on the streets of of McAllen or, or El Paso, and so these facilities were erected. And that one was, I think, a large warehouse, and they put the they put those chain link partitions up um, so you could segregate. Uh, young women from young men, from you know kids from adults, until they were either released or transferred to HHS. Okay, so these so-called cages were not built to dehumanize people; they were built to protect people, and they were not built by the Trump administration. They were built by the Obama administration. And in order to keep us from having to put people anywhere in this country, President Trump wants to build a wall, wants to spend $10 billion on the wall. But Congress has already appropriated over $7 billion for border security. Oh, my bad. That was for Jordan. I guess securing Jordan's border is not racist, but securing ours is. Border security is a fundamental responsibility of any government in any nation, and it's designed to keep its citizens safe. But if your border's wide open, how safe are your citizens? As we said earlier, the numbers are in dispute, but it's in the hundreds of thousands of illegal aliens who are incarcerated every year in America. And most of these folks are committing multiple crimes. And that's just the people we're actually catching. But AOC and her side want to abolish ICE, Immigration and Customs Enforcement. This is not the Border Patrol. This is Interior Enforcement. They're the ones going out and arresting the bad guys once they've melted into society and spread across the entire country. Ken Cuccinelli is acting director of the United States Citizenship and Immigration Services. This is ICE's job every single day. Their job is interior enforcement. There are over a million people in this country who have gone through the extensive due process system of our immigration system and have removal orders that they have not obeyed. If it wasn't for ICE, everybody gets by the board, so it's on free. Tom Holman is a former acting ICE director. ICE last year sees enough opioids off the streets of America to kill every man, woman, and child in this country twice. They rescued nearly a thousand children from sexual predators. They arrested, they put thousands of predators in jail. They rescued 764 women from uh, uh, sex trafficking. They've, they've, they've staffed JTTF to Joint Terrorism Task Force. They stopped technology being smuggled out of the country. It can be used against our war fighters like missile technology. Uh, they arrest 137,000 criminals off the streets of this country. These are not only illegal aliens, but they commit another crime after the crime of coming here illegally. So, you know, this is easy to abolish. This is unbelievable. Tom Holman once crossed swords with AOC at a committee hearing in Congress. She accused Holman of being cruel by separating families. Tom Holman calls bovine scatology on that when we come back right after this. I'm calling bovine scatology with Phil Valentine. You've already heard AOC refer to the Trump administration as fascist. She thinks border security is racist. She locked horns with acting ICE director Tom Holman back in the day at a committee hearing. And he pointed out to her that we separate criminals from their families all the time. Zero tolerance was interpreted as the policy that separated children from their If I get arrested for DUI and I have a young child in a car, I'm going to be separated. When I was a police officer in New York and I arrested a father for domestic violence, I separated that Mr. father Mr. Holman, with all due respect, legal asylees are not charged with any crime. When you're in the country illegally, it's violation 8 United States Code 1325. Seeking asylum is legal. If you want to seek asylum, you go through the port of entry, do it the legal way. The Attorney General of the United States has made that clear. Okay. Not okay. Not really. They don't understand that you have to do things legally. Yes, you can seek asylum in the United States, but you can't just stream across the border, get caught later by the Border Patrol or by ICE, and then claim asylum. You have to go to a port of entry and seek asylum. We take in between 20 and 50,000 refugees from around the world in any given year. So who qualifies? Well, if you come from a war-torn region, you would qualify. If you're being persecuted for your religion or your race or things like this, you qualify for refugee status in the United States. But if you're poor or you want to get away from gang violence, you don't qualify. 
If that were the case, most of the people on the south side of Chicago would be seeking refuge in the Hollywood Hills. It just doesn't work that way. We can't take in everybody from around the world who just wants to come to the United States. But of all the refugees we do take in, they come almost exclusively from countries of color. Places like Congo, Syria, Burma, Iraq, Somalia, Iran, Afghanistan. So much for our racist immigration policy. But forget about the refugees for a second. Immigrants in general are coming from countries of color. Number one for the United States as far as immigrants, Mexico, big surprise there, followed by China, India, the Philippines, and El Salvador. Doesn't sound like we're taking in a bunch of honkies from around the world to me, does it you? But we're inundated by the mainstream media with stories that Donald Trump is a racist. Washington Post with a piece, Trump's immigration policies speak louder than his racist, xenophobic words. A public television station, Immigration 101, Racism in the History of Immigration Policy. Stanford Law Review, White Nationalism as Immigration Policy. Time Magazine, Donald Trump's anti-immigration rhetoric is rooted in racism. But the stats just don't bear that out. What President Trump has done is distinguish between legal immigration and illegal immigration, a line that is constantly blurred by the left and the complicit left-wing media. If you look at Nancy Pelosi, you look at Chuck Schumer, you'll see tapes where they wanted to have borders. They needed borders for security. Just a short while ago, a number of years ago, I see Chuck Schumer, we must have borders. Hillary Clinton, we must have borders. If people penetrate our borders, we must get them out of our country. Now, all of a sudden, they're big open border people. It's a whole big con job. The problem is we're dealing with a corruptocracy in Mexico. They have a vested interest in keeping illegal immigrants coming here. They have a vested interest in the drug trade. They have a vested interest in remittances. That's when illegal aliens send their money back to Mexico. Did you know this? The United States is the largest source of international remittances in the world. Over $25 billion gets sent back to Mexico every year from the United States. Remittances have surpassed oil revenue as Mexico's number one source of foreign income. So you can see why Mexico doesn't want to do anything about the illegal alien problem. Mexico, by the way, is doing nothing for us. Nothing. They have the strongest immigration laws. They can do whatever they want. They can keep people out of Mexico. They have a 2,000-mile journey up Mexico. They walk through Mexico like it's walking through Central Park. It's ridiculous. Mexico does nothing for us. Once again, Ken Cuccinelli. I think that the President of the United States should be doing what he is in the immigration space, and that is in focusing on trying to fix an obviously broken system when we look at the border, when he's getting almost no help from Congress. Senator Chuck Schumer. The vast majority of immigrants are hardworking people who just want to make a better life. And the idea of ripping them apart from their parents is a very bad idea. And that is what will happen in these raids inevitably. But contrary to what the mainstream media folks will tell you, it's not the law-abiding illegal aliens that they're raiding. It's the hardcore criminals. Acting U.S. Customs and Border Protection Commissioner Mark Morgan. The individuals that ICE goes after, uh, and they do this every single day, are not individuals that are here undocumented. They're individuals that are here illegally. And in this case, their priority has always been, and it will be, to go after those that are criminal aliens, meaning those people are here illegally and, and have committed additional crimes against American citizens. Senator Lindsey Graham. We have created a system that is enticing people to do very dangerous things, paying coyotes, doing all kind of horrible things to get here because our laws are a magnet for people to continue to come. And if we don't fix it now, it only gets worse later. Kevin McAleenan was the acting Secretary of Homeland Security. Not only are the numbers increasing, the people, the percentage of people from countries in the Northern Triangle of Central America is growing as well. Today, 70% of crossings are from these countries, and a full 63% of crossings are vulnerable families and children. Since I took office, ICE agents have arrested over 235,000 aliens with criminal records. Think of that, 235,000. And then you have a lot on the Democrat side. They're saying, we don't want to respect ICE. We want to get rid of ICE. We're not getting rid of ICE. In 2018, Indianapolis Colts linebacker Edwin Jackson and his Uber driver Jeffrey Monroe 
were struck and killed by an illegal alien. He had a prior conviction in California of driving under the influence and had been twice deported from the United States. This sad scenario has been played out thousands of times over and over again in our country. Border security is not about racism. It's about keeping people like Manuel Orego Savala out of the United States. Here's what this monster's lawyer had to say. Drunk driving has nothing to do with immigration status, okay? It applies to everyone. That's the perverted logic of the pro-illegal immigration people. If this guy had been prohibited from coming to the United States in the first place, the Indianapolis Colts player and his Uber driver would still be alive. So would thousands of other American citizens who have been killed by people who decided to come to the United States the wrong way. And we get them the hell out of our country. We get them out. So, is border security racist? Well, given that the vast majority of refugees and immigrants that we do allow into the country legally are persons of color, and given that the country where the most legal immigrants come from is Mexico, I'm calling bovine scatology on that. We give it five bulls. We hope you enjoyed this episode. Remember that you can find show notes and references all at bovinescatology.com. Make sure you follow us on social media. This is Phil Valentine. I'm calling Bovine Scatology is produced by Com World Media. All rights reserved. This has been a presentation of Com World Media. The future of talk.